everybody. Welcome back to the show. Today we're diving into something I think we can all relate to. Those little habits that might be holding us back. You know, the ones we don't even realize make a big difference in how people see us. Now, I'm not one to judge. Believe me, we've all got our quirks, but sometimes it's good to take a little look in the mirror, or in this case, at the screen, and see if there's anything we can tweak to put our best foot forward. So grab your coffee, tea, or heck, even a little snack and let's get into it. We're about to break down seven common habits that might be making people look down on you. And trust me, you'll want to hear this. Okay, first up, let's talk about interrupting. We've all been there, right? You're bursting with something to say, and you just can't hold it in any longer. But here's the thing, constantly cutting people off can make you seem, well, a little rude. Think about it. When someone interrupts you, it sends the message that what they have to say is more important than what you're saying. Not cool, right? It's like saying, hold on, your thoughts? Not as interesting as mine. And you know, when you let someone finish their thought, it shows you actually care about what they have to say. It's like saying, I see you, I hear you, and I'm listening. Plus, you might actually learn something new. You never know what gems of wisdom people have hidden in their brains until you give them a chance to share. So next time you feel that urge to jump in, take a breath, and let them finish their thought. Trust me, your conversations will be way more enjoyable for everyone involved. All right, let's move on to something a little less, shall we say, delicate, just kidding. But seriously, folks, personal hygiene, it matters. And look, I'm not talking about having a 10-step skincare routine or anything. Though, hey, if that's your thing, more power to you. I'm talking about the basics. You know, showering regularly, brushing your teeth, wearing clean clothes. It's amazing how far a little soap and water can go. Think about it. When you meet someone who's fresh and clean, it just makes you want to be around them, right? It shows you care about yourself and how you present yourself to the world. Plus, nobody wants to be stuck next to a walking, talking fragrance factory. And trust me, I've smelled it all. So do yourself and everyone around you a favor and keep it clean. Your friends, family, and even your local barista will thank you for it. Okay, this next one is a big one, being chronically late. We've all been there, stuck in traffic, running behind schedule, you know the drill. But when it becomes a habit, it can really rub people the wrong way. Think about it. When you're always late, it sends the message that your time is more valuable than everyone else's. And that's not a good look, my friends. It's like saying, my time is more important so you can all just wait for me. Being on time shows respect for other people's schedules and commitments. It says, I value your time and I'm making an effort to be here when I said I would. Plus, it's just plain stressful for everyone involved. Rushing around, apologizing profusely, who needs that kind of drama in their life? Not me. So do yourself a favor and set those alarms a little earlier, plan ahead, and maybe even build in a little buffer time for unexpected delays. You'll be amazed at how much smoother your life will be when you're not constantly playing catch up. All right, let's talk about something we've all probably been guilty of at some point, gossiping. You know, that irresistible urge to spill the tea, share a juicy tidbit, or just vent about someone behind their back. Look, I get it. Sometimes it feels good to let it all out, right? But here's the thing, gossip can be toxic. When you're constantly talking about other people, it can make you seem untrustworthy and even a little mean. Think about it. If you're willing to gossip about someone else, what's stopping you from gossiping about the person you're talking to? It creates an environment of suspicion and negativity, and nobody wants to be around that. Instead of focusing on the negative, try talking about things that uplift and inspire you. Share a funny story, compliment someone, or talk about your passions. Trust me, your conversations will be way more enjoyable for everyone involved. Okay, this one might seem a little subtle, but trust me, it's important negative body language. You know, those little cues we give off without even realizing it? Crossing your arms, avoiding eye contact, that kind of thing. It might seem harmless, but negative body language can send a powerful message. It can make you seem closed off, unapproachable, and even a little bit rude. Think about it. When you're talking to someone who's constantly looking at their phone, fidgeting, or avoiding your gaze, it makes you feel like they're not really interested in what you have to say, right? On the other hand, positive body language, like making eye contact, smiling, and leaning in, can make you seem more engaged, approachable, and even more trustworthy. It shows you're present, interested, and ready to connect. So pay attention to your body language and make an effort to project openness and positivity. You might be surprised at how much of a difference it makes in your interactions with others. All right, let's be honest. Nobody likes a complainer. We all have our moments, right? But when you're constantly finding something to whine about, it can really bring down the mood. Think about it. 
When you're always focusing on the negative, it can be draining for everyone around you. It's like a black hole of negativity, sucking the joy out of everything. And here's the thing, complaining rarely solves anything. It just keeps you stuck in a cycle of negativity. Instead of focusing on what's wrong, try focusing on what's right. Challenge yourself to find something positive in every situation, no matter how small. It could be a beautiful sunset, a delicious cup of coffee, or even just a moment of peace and quiet. Trust me, a little bit of gratitude can go a long way in improving your outlook on life and making you a more pleasant person to be around. Last but not least, let's talk about the importance of listening. And I don't just mean hearing the words someone is saying, but really, truly listening with your full attention. We live in a world full of distractions, and it's easy to let our minds wander when someone's talking. But when you're not fully present in a conversation, it shows. It sends the message that you're not really interested in what the other person has to say. Think about it. How does it make you feel when you're talking to someone and you can tell they're not really listening? Not great, right? It makes you feel unimportant and unheard. But when you truly listen to someone, it shows you care. It shows you value their thoughts, feelings, and experiences. And that's a powerful thing. So next time you're having a conversation, put away your phone, silence those notifications, and really focus on what the other person is saying. You might be surprised at what you learn and how much closer it brings you. Well, there you have it, folks. Seven habits that might be making people look down on you, and more importantly, how to break them. Remember, it's all about being mindful of how our actions affect others. We all have room for improvement, and the more we work on ourselves, the better our relationships will be. So go out there and be the best versions of yourselves. And hey, if you ever need a little reminder, you know where to find me. Until next time, be kind to one another, stay curious, and keep on laughing.